to see another Christmas day. When you were a youth. Fan. Fan! Dear, dear brother! <laughs> Come to bring you home, dear brother. To bring you home. Home. Home, little fan. Yes. Home for good and all. Father's much kinder than he used to be. He spoke to me so gently one day and night that I was not afraid to ask once more if you might come home. And he said, yes, you should. And sent me in a coach to bring you. You're quite a woman, little fan. And you. You are to be a man now. And never come back here. Come along, we mustn't keep Father waiting. Father! There, boy, there. Stand still now. Let me look at you. They haven't been overfeeding you, that's certain. I've, I've grown, I think. Yes, most boys do. Fan has told you you won't be moving back here. Yes, sir. It's time you made your way in the world. I've arranged an apprenticeship for you. You'll move into Mr. Fezziwig's establishment in three days' time. Three days, Father? I'd hoped we'd have my brother home for longer. Longer? Three days is quite long enough for both of us. Don't you think, Ebenezer? Yes, sir. Quite long enough. You finished back there? All safe and secure, sir. The carriage, firm. We're on our way. Into the carriage, mine. Here Fan pleaded for more time, but my father was very stern man. Fan. She died a young woman. She had such a generous nature. Yes, too young. Old enough to bear a child. Mm, one son. Fred, your nephew. Fred Hollowell, yes. Who bears a strong resemblance to your sister. Does he? <laughs> I never noticed. You never noticed? I'm beginning to think you've gone through life with your eyes closed. Open them. Open them wide. <laughs> know this man.